Yeah. Okay. I love my job. I really do love my job. I love the commuting here. I love working here. I love this whole experience of a uh, job well done. When I was 10 years old, I had a brain tumor and I had to go go to uh, Mayo Clinic in Minnesota to have it uh, destroyed, destroyed with radiation. Uh, my optic nerves got damaged and that caused a vision loss. People with visual impairment or, or blindness are, are without jobs right now and uh, I was looking for a job for about four years, I had no luck. And I came here and uh, I was able to get a job here. It was just a, a blessing, I was able to become one of the, one of the 30 percent, you know. I'm not just a person with a disability, I'm a person, and oh, by the way, I just happened to have this disability. You know, it's not, the disability does not define you, you know. I feel like I have a very good rapport with a lot of the people here, really everybody here, so, and, and we do really work as a family here, it's really nice, you know. Having the job here has allowed me to have this independence. I, I, just, I just feel so good about myself that I get up every morning, go to work, and come home. It just feels, you know, it feels fulfilling, fulfilling you know. Without the, without the lighthouse, but likely I would not have a job. And even, even if I did have a job, it would, I'm, I know it would not be anywhere near as awesome as this job is. If you, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. So visual impairment, uh, hearing impairment, whatever it may be, you can get the job done. You just give the person the chance to prove themselves and they can, they'll, they, can show the, they can show that they can not only be a satisfactory employee, but an outstanding employee.